Hey everybody, in this video we're going to walk through one of the problems from the gravity worksheet. Uh, so I wrote the equation and the gravitational constant at the top. And I want you got want to remind you guys about the equation. So we have the gravitational constant that is multiplied by the mass of uh, the first object, mass of the second object, and then divided by the distance between those two squared. Okay. Sometimes those little ones and little twos can be confusing. All right, so the first one, calculate the force of gravity between a physics student, that's 70 kilograms, and the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, that are separated by 7.63 times 10 to the 6th meters. All right, so we are first use our gravitational constant, so 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th, that's newtons times meters squared over kg squared, All right. and that is multiplied by the mass, so 70 kilograms, times 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. All of that is divided by distance 7.63 times 10 to the 6th m, and that is squared. All right. So when you guys are typing this into your calculator, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, make sure that you are using that E key or the EE -E key on your calculators to plug in your exponentials. And when you have exponentials like this, uh, like this bottom one here that has an exponential with it squared, so with an exponent, make sure that you are using parentheses, okay? If you don't have that type of calculator, look up a scientific calculator online, and there are plenty that you can use all of those functions on, just on a calculator or on your iPad. Okay, but plugging this in, uh, you end up getting 479.5 six and that is unrounded we'll work on the sig figs in just a moment but let's figure out what the units are so well we had in our denominator we had a meters squared right here and a meter squared up here so those two things cancel out we have a kilogram squared here and a kilogram and a kilogram therefore those all cancel out the only unit left is newtons, and we were calculating force, therefore our answer is in newtons. Now rounding to the proper number of sig figs, 70 with a decimal has two sig figs, 5.98 times 10 to the 21st, 24th is three sig figs, and the distance is also three sig figs. So we are going to need to round this to two would be 480 newtons. All right, make sure to write down this one down as an example to go off of. Definitely recommend having all this information at the top as well, just in case you need it. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions.